Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So today is day five. Today is day five of my countdown to Christmas, posting every day, creating a Christmas or holiday nail set. And today I'm going to be using some of these iMethod Beauty gel polish collections. They have sent me staycation and holiday collection. I did end up using only the holiday collection, but these are 100% vegan, cruelty free, nine free, and longer wear. And this is my first time trying iMethod Beauty gel polish. I have never tried it before and I did not swatch these colors but you do get six colors in each of these boxes along with their like instruction pamphlet and the questions and answers and stuff like that. Mostly this pamphlet comes in every gel polish set that you purchase but they did send these to me, so thank you so much to iMethod Beauty. I really did enjoy using these polishes and will continue to use them throughout my nail journey. So I did not swatch these, but I did open up all of the bottles and show you the color in each of the bottles. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that play through so you guys can see all of the colors. This collection is the Staycation Gel Polish Collection, and then the next box is the Holiday Collection. So those are all of the colors. Again, you get six in the holiday collection and six in the staycation collection. So I am going to be creating a nail set using these and I wanted to use a nude as the full cover nail and the two nudes that came in this kit was just not really what I was looking for. They were great nudes but just not what I wanted in this nail set so I did decide to just use my favorite nude poly gel which is A Siesta by McCart. Again I'll have everything linked down below along with the poly gel and the gel polishes. So I am just going to do the lazy girl method and just quickly do all of these nails using the lazy girl method and that ACS to poly gel because this nail set is more about the design. But if you would like to watch a more in-depth video of me doing a lazy girl method using poly gel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check my other videos. I'm always posting nail sets using the lazy girl method slash femi beauty method and using poly gel. So to do this method I'm only going to be showing the pinky in this video because again I want this video to be more about the nail design and not a super long video of me doing the same method that I always am doing. But I'm just applying the poly gel to the inside of the full cover nail tip and using my brush and slip solution to mold the poly gel. Once I have it all completely molded to my liking, I am just going to press it on my natural nail. You do want to make sure you prep your natural nails if you want these to last for a long time. Comment below if you would like to see a nail prep video from me. 
but I do just apply a peel off base coat because I do not keep my nails on for a long extended period of time because I am constantly filming nail content. So if you have any poly gel squeeze out around your cuticle area, just gently wipe that up with your brush and then make sure you cure the poly gel for a full 60 seconds on top and a full 60 seconds underneath. And here is where I'm just going to go ahead and go off camera and finish the rest of these nails off camera doing those same exact steps. And here we go. I did my final cure of 60 on top, 60 underneath, and here are the nails. Poly gel does leave a sticky and tacky layer, so you want to make sure you take your lint-free wipe and some isopropyl alcohol and just wipe the tops and underneath of the nails. After I used my lint-free wipe to wipe away all the stickiness, now I'm going to take my McCart 180 grit hand file and just crisp up the shape of these nails a little bit along with filing around the cuticle area to remove any excess poly gel and then I'm also going to take my buffing block just to quickly buff the tops of these nails just to remove any extra poly gel that may be on the nails because I am doing a design and I do not want any extra poly gel on the tops of these nails interfering with my nail design. After I was all finished with filing, I'm just going to take my McCart top coat and apply top coat to all of these nails. That way I can get right into the nail design. After I have the top coat applied, I'm just going to pop that into my lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And if you haven't seen already by my thumbnail, I am going to be doing the peppermint swirl French tip nail design. And I did get this idea from Nails by Key. She has a great channel. You should all go check her out. I really love her channel. I really love her creative nail sets and she just gives me so much inspiration all the time. So I really recommend going to check her out, but I did get this idea from her. I know a lot of other people are doing it, but just the other day I watched her video and I was like, oh wow, I would love to try those nails. They look so cute and so fun. So I did get my nail idea set from her. After I have the top coat applied, the nails are ready. I did decide to use the red, which is 103, and that silver, which is 120. I did swatch these. You can see the swatch sticks in the background, but I just wanted to make sure that these were the colors that would go good with this nail set, and they were. I thought they looked absolutely stunning together and would go perfect to make some peppermint swirls. So I'm just starting off by pouring out that silver gel polish onto my little mixing tray and I just want to take that and put that on there that way I can use my line brush to create my French tips. And for this nail set I am doing the same exact design on all of my nails. So once I get started and once I explain doing the first nail, I am going to go ahead and stop talking. That way you guys can just chill, listen to the music, and watch me do the nail set. And especially because it's very repetitive and I don't want to keep talking and talking about the same thing over and over again. So I'm starting off by taking this line brush that I believe I got this in the October Your Nail Lab box. It was in one of the Your Nail Lab boxes. But anyways, I really love this nail liner brush. I've been getting a lot better with my French tips. I'm not, I'm not perfect at them, but I am getting a lot better at them. So I just went ahead and made my line for my French tip. And then I'm going to use the brush from the gel polish bottle and fill that in. And I wanted to make the French tip a big 
bigger area and like smaller at my cuticle area. I'm not sure the correct definition of that or however you say that, but I went ahead, I filled that in. This is one coat. I cured for 60 seconds in my nail lamp and then I'm going to continue to do that same exact thing and just starting off with one coat, but I will go in with a second coat to build up the color, but I'm just gonna be creating that same French tip on all of my nails. I just wanted to pop back in real quick and say thank you so much if you have made it this far in the video. It really helps me out a lot when you guys are watching my full videos. I really love that and I really am trying to grow my channel. I am on the road to 1000 subscribers so if you have not already subscribed please make sure you subscribe and if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. I have been working really hard with my channel trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. And also this week, I am also working very hard to try to put out a video every single day for my countdown to Christmas. And it just truly means a lot for me to see all of the comments that people leave me and all of the positive feedback on my nail sets and just seeing the my subscribers grow and grow and grow it just means so much to me and i want to thank each and every one of you that are subscribed to my channel and keeps leaving positive feedback and giving my videos a thumbs up it really means a lot so thank you so much to everyone who is supporting my channel and sending all the love so I do only show these three fingers, my index, my middle, and my ring finger. My pinky and thumb I do decide to do off camera just because I didn't want the video to be like a half hour long. But I just do them off camera and repeated the same steps and here are how the nails are looking. They are all cured now and ready for their second coat. So I'm just going to go in and apply a second coat. I use the gel polish brush for most of this, but then I do go in with my line brush just to touch things up. And yeah, it is super simple. And then once I have that, I'm just going to cure again for another 60 seconds. And then we're going to move right into the peppermint design.
So here are how the nails look once I have that French tip finished. I did apply two coats of that silver on all of the nails just so I could have that color built up. Now I'm going to be taking this red which is 103 which also came in the holiday collection and I'm just going to pour a little bit of that out on my mixing tray too because I'm going to be using my line brush again to create some peppermint swirls. So I'm not really sure how to explain this, but I do show it three different times. I'm just trying to find the best of the center of the nail, and then I'm taking my line brush and just creating like a swirl, and I create four different swirls on each nails. One thing that I would do if I would ever go back and redo this design is make these swirls a lot smaller. I feel like I was making my swirls too big, and in the end, these swirls were just overpowering the French tip and I did really didn't like that. So if I would ever do this design again, I would make sure that I made my swirls a little bit smaller. So taking my line brush and just dipping it into that red polish, I'm just creating my peppermint swirls. I feel like I keep saying swirls, but I really do not know how to explain this. I really did feel like I did good with staying in frame though so you can just watch what I'm doing. This was a super easy design and it's great when working with gel polish because if you do mess up you don't have to cure it. You can always just wipe it off or wipe that small little line. Like maybe if say I would have went up in the French tip a little bit I could have just used my cleanup brush and wiped that away before I cured. So that is one perk about using gel polish. I really love gel polish for that reason. I feel like it is just so much easier to do designs with. Another thing, if you don't feel comfortable being able to do all of the swirls, you could cure, but for something that I wanted to do, I wanted to sprinkle red glitter over top. So I did not cure on any of the lines because I wanted to sprinkle red glitter over top of them to make it stand out and have a little bit more fun to this nail design. So I'm just taking my dip powder recycler and sprinkling glitter over top and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then I wipe away that extra glitter and that is what the nail was looking like. So I am going to repeat this on the rest of my nails and I do show me wiping off the glitter on one of the nails I think. I realized how satisfying it was and thought oh maybe I should add that in the video. It is just super satisfying wiping away all of that glitter and then seeing the design and I just really thought it was so satisfying so I think I did add that into the video. But here is where I started to go off camera a little bit, but I do apologize for that. I really try to work on it and try to realize that I am off camera. But I'm just going to repeat those same exact steps on the rest of the nails, and then I will come back for the last step.
So this is a longer video. I apologize if you do not like watching longer videos, but if you have made it this far, thank you so much for coming and watching this far. It really means a lot, like I said before. But I am almost all finished with this nail set. I'm just going to add some lines in between the peppermints just to make it add a little bit more detail to them but overall I really loved this nail set it is not one of my favorites but I thought it was super cute especially with that red glitter so I am glad that I added that red glitter and didn't just keep it the red gel polish but this set was pretty easy to achieve. I thought it was a very nice set and this gel polish was also great and perfect to use. I loved that silver color along with this red. I just thought it looked so great and I will have both of the holiday collection iMethod Beauty and the Staycation collection linked down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing one of those kits. I will also have everything else that I used linked down below with any discount codes that I may have. Here are how all of the nails looked once I was finished drawing on the peppermint swirl and adding the glitter. Now for the last step, what I'm going to do is try to wipe away all the glitter. My desk was covered with glitter, I was covered with glitter, my nails were covered with glitter, but I really did try to keep it clean. But now just taking my line brush, I'm going to add some lines in between the peppermint swirls just to add a little bit more detail to these nails. And this was super quick and easy to do, and it just made the peppermints look a little bit nicer. I said earlier about trying not to make this be a super long video, but this video does end out to be a very long video, so I do apologize again. But if you have made it this far, thank you, thank you so, so much. I really am working hard this week to be able to put up a video every day for my countdown to Christmas, and I hope you are, are all enjoying this little countdown. So here I'm just finishing up the last little stripes and then I cured for 30 seconds and here are how the nails are looking. After I cured those little stripes, they are now finished. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my cuticle oil pen, apply some cuticle oil and rub that in so I can nourish my cuticles. And applying that cuticle oil just made my nails shine and look so glossy, like they just looked so nice. I was loving these peppermint nails. The background, that silver for the French tip was just so stunning with that red and the glitter on top. I really love these so much and I don't think I mentioned what red glitter I used but I did use the red glitter from the November Your Nail Lab collaboration with Baby Girl Nails so I'm so glad she added those red glitters in there because this red glitter just topped these peppermint nails off. These iMethod Beauty gel polishes I thought were great. They were a little bit 
not as pigmented as I would have liked them to be. But you can always apply different coats. Like this is only one coat and I thought they were pretty saturated, but they weren't as saturated. I kind of had to build them up a little bit, which is totally fine. And I still love these gel polishes, but I will have these gel polishes linked down below in case you guys are interested along with any other products that I did use in this video, like this A Siesta Nude Poly Gel from McCart. Overall, I really loved how these nails turned out and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me create this fun peppermint nail set. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications if you haven't already so you can be notified tomorrow when I upload day four's video. I am super excited for that one and cannot wait to show you guys what I come with, up with. But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Happy holidays!